Welcome. So when we when you learned how to you know simplify an expression, um, you know combining like terms and all this kind of stuff, uh, we went through the main important thing that we wanted to follow was the order of operations. So when we're looking into simplify, then we use the order of operations: parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, PEMDAS, or parentheses, grouping symbols, exponents, or really powers. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And just remember, these are kind of grouped together, right? Well, when we're solving an equation, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be using the reverse order of operations. Because simplifying, remember, we're combining like terms, right? Combine variables, combine numbers, get them to be together. But when we're solving, we're not, I mean, we will do simplifying, right? Um, when we always want to simplify, especially when we get into more complicated examples. So we simplify first. But then once we get it into its simplified state, to start solving, we use inverse operations. right? So we undo what is happening. And when we're undoing using our inverse operations, we want to undo in an order. We just can't start undoing any order that we want to, especially if we have multiple operations. For instance, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and you know, exponents and parentheses. So we have to follow the order of operations, or I'm sorry, the reverse order of operations. SADMAP, OK? Just like PEMDAS, SADMAP. Um, but again, it's important for you to understand that addition and subtraction are grouped together, and division and multiplication are grouped together. So again, when you have an equation, and you look at a variable, and you see that that variable is being multiplied by a number and added by a number, we're going to want to use the inverse operation to undo the addition first, and then undo the multiplication. And that's going to work also, once we get into more complicated, we'll get into more of x, you know, using our powers, our exponents, and parentheses and grouping symbols. But for right now, mostly we're going to be concerned about um, using the reverse order of operations with these first three and with uh, some exponents as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just kind of the basic idea of what is the reverse order of operations. Thanks.